my dreams I've been gone Longer than it seems And I can't take the pain It's everything that I can't say to someone or everything I can't express in your everyday situations. Sometimes music is the only way I can be myself or release emotions that I don't. I can't, uh, not really understand or comprehend, but just can't express really. So really through the, throughout the day, music is everything. At the same time, it's, it's almost like a lifeline. You were there. Uh, so this is a song that I wrote called My Friend. I wrote about the passing of my nephew Dylan. He was 14. And the song helped me deal with my emotions about the passing of my brother Scott when he was back in 2001. He was only 18. And the song goes like this. Now I can live my life day by day. I'm wide And then, of course, our powwow started. Our, our national powwow. Our national. <laughs> our nation's powwow. <laughs> we are, a, you could say national, but we are a nation. And that's been now going on, oh my goodness, 27 years or 28 years. Mm. When the grounds were firmly, or were finally chosen where to hold the powwow. So we used to hold it in different places. We'd hold it sometimes at, at the ballpark, just opposite the high school. And it grew bigger and bigger every year. I find that the drums really speak to me. If I'm somewhere and they start up the drum, and if we're in a building or whatever, Sooner or later, that room just fills. You can feel the ancestors coming, and they're all around. So instead of a few people, you've got many, many people there with you. So it does, it calls in the ancestors, and you rejoice in that. You're happy to be ended. <laughs> I don't know what's appropriate these days. I grew up. Uh, being called an Indian, and I still have trouble breaking away from that. But I do believe firmly we are the First Nations here. And we've always lived in this territory. Um, from a traditional standpoint, I guess it's uh, really made me realize who I am um, more deeply. Um, I feel like 
through the songs that our people carry, like we can communicate so much about um, our community and uh, like our lands. My love keep me safe Cause I'm getting scared and my mind's all over the place My love keep me warm Cause those cold winter winds have kept me frozen Interesting actually how music just like you just need it in your life sometimes because uh, I don't know like say you're going through something traumatic or like just dealing with a lot of uh, like personal stuff and something and then like finding a piece of music that really speaks to you because I guess like as people we don't not a lot of us tend to actually like say how we really feel sometimes and it's even if we could like well like it's kind of hard to actually like articulate those emotions. And then so when you find a piece of song or like when you find a piece of music that kind of really just puts what you're feeling into words and into like a really like beautiful sort of like soothing way, um, you really like attach yourself to it. Music is a, is a positive, um filler of any void that you may have within yourself um, and at the same time it allows you to really express yourself in ways that you possibly never thought you could. Um, I think uh, music is for everybody. Yeah, I, don't, I don't believe for one minute that you have to be good at it. Um, not everybody's going to be a Sidney Crosby, but hockey is still a great game to play and, and it has many benefits. And the same with music, you know, uh, uh, not everybody's going to be the next Bob Dylan, but I think there's, there's, uh, music is there for, for everyone to enjoy and experience. And, and I think it's, uh, um, the positives of music are, uh, especially for an Indigenous uh, youth who quite often more than um, non-Indigenous youth have those voids that they need to fill with something. And um, I think it's a healthy, uh, both mentally and physically, uh, healthy choice for Indigenous youth to, uh, to engage in. And um, I think there's lots, lots to be found in music for, for Indigenous people. This song um, about uh, four or five months ago, and I thought it was done at the time, um, but then uh, after a couple incidences uh, that involved Indigenous people and their their death, uh, Colton Bushi and Barbara Kentner, um, I found myself adding some more lyrics to it uh, because it didn't feel complete fully, but now it does, so um, it started off as a song about uh, the murdered and missing Indigenous women across this country, and it's kind of um, grown into uh, uh, a little more than that now, so, and uh, this is how it goes. Cry at night. 